Thank okay. you. I know we're on. The X10 reactor was a graphite uh, moderated uh, natural uranium fuel reactor, which uh, produced plutonium. It did not had no uh, no generating capacity. And neither did the uh, reactors in uh, in Hanford, Washington, which were built on that prototype. The uh, first, the world's first high flux uh, reactor with fully enriched reactor was the uh, MTR prototype, which I did the uh, instrumentation system for. This was a three megawatt, fully enriched uranium fuel, um, beryllium moderated, and um, with a with an air cooled uh, heat exchanger to dissipate the heat. Again, no uh, no generating capacity, and it was run uh, strictly as a as a prototype for the materials testing reactor which was later built in uh, in Idaho with the same uh, same instrumentation system same control system and I was out there several times to help them and watch them put that together uh, after that I we built another similar reactor uh, lower only uh, only one megawatt I think the uh, we call the swimming pool reactor or the bulk shielding facility this reactor was built in a swimming pool and uh, could be moved uh, around to uh, test shield various shield configurations um, after that was turned over to the, uh, the research people. I uh, worked on the homogeneous reactor, homogeneous reactor experiment. This was a uh, one megawatt uh, uranium sulfate, uranium sulfate, sulfate uh, solution fuel with the the core was a one inch uh, di uh, one foot diameter sphere and the uh, when the f when the fuel got into the uh, into the sphere there was enough concentration to uh, to for criticality and the reactor went critical and we did have a we did have a generator on that one and it was I think 300 kilowatts and we tied into the TVA uh, the transmission system for which we had to get TVA's permission because they like to know when somebody's feeding electricity into their wires so they don't get a hold of the hot one. Uh, the, uh, the HRE ran for only a few months and uh, it was shut down. And uh, then I began to work on the uh, molten salt reactor, which was a uh, mixture of your uranium salts uh, enriched and had a steam generator. It was supposedly a prototype for an air for an Air Force uh, reactor and I could never see how they were going to fly a concrete building and they didn't. But uh, before that uh, reactor got online I uh, went to uh, Connecticut. This was in uh, spring of uh, 1953 to work on the uh, Nautilus reactor, the first uh, nuclear-powered submarine. 
And again, I worked on instrumentation and control systems and pretty much everything else and was part of the uh, trial engineering crew. We uh, wrote up the, uh, the test programs and took the data and uh, analyzed the data. Went out on the um, trial runs, the shakedown runs, first deep dive, and when uh, the Navy was convinced it was operable, they took it over, and I came to California to work on uh, a uh, sodium-cooled reactor.